welcome to all today we will learn about the concepts of p2p process that is called as a procure to pay process procure to pay or p2p process is essential for purchasing activities in a company we will observe p2p process in the viewpoint of sap mm it is essential and useful for buying for purchasing of material or service and it is and it is essential for the smooth functioning of a department and a company as a whole it can be also term in different ways like procurement cycle source to pay and procure to pay first point in p2p cycle is purchase requisition pr or purchase requisition is internal document that is it is within company no external stakeholder or third party is involved in into this it is a demand for a certain kind of material or product for a specified quantity to fulfill the requirements within time we can raise a pr for the following procurement types one is standard second is subcontracting third is consignment fourth is stock transfer fifth is external services second is rfq that is request for quotation once we gather all the requirements purchasing department will send request to all the prospective vendors for the same material who can fulfill the requirement at best possible price this is called as rfq vendor sends a reply against rfq which is called as a quotation rfq can be created by two ways first is manual and second is with reference to pr then the point is quotation vendor in response to rfq which is sent by company's purchasing department sends information regarding price and other related factors this is called as quotation we have to maintain quotation in our system by following the transaction code me47 when we receive multiple quotations from vendors we have to compare all this by following transaction code me49 for the best available quotation now po or purchase order this is a very important stage of p2p process a purchase order is a formal and legal document asking vendor to supply certain quantity of a material at specified price to respective plant within time limit po can be raised not only for procurement of material but also for services purchase orders can be raised with or without reference of pr when po is raised for procurement of stock material one must have to specify the material number which is created in material master po can be can also be raised for the procurement of direct consumable material for example if anyone procures material for a specific project or work that material is treated as consumed on the receipt hence inventory not gets updated in such cases we have to mention account assignment in po for proper effect to cost object there are various purchase order types sap provides many purchase order types user gets different screens for each type of po we will see about framework order what is framework order if anyone wants to buy a product which has very small value a blanket purchase order has to be raised for the specific maximum value and validity period with document type fo and item category limit stock transport order sometimes company dispatches material from one plant to another plant it is called as sto that is stock transport order this can be done by using document type as ub for created a purchase order called stock transport order now goods receipt note or grn it is a confirmation that vendor has dispatched material which were mentioned in po at the specific plant user has to follow the t code migo migo for grn there is certain procedure or steps involved in gr first company sends po to vendor second vendor dispatches material at plant which is mentioned in po may be full or partial quantity third goes receipt at plant fourth at time of grn 
system generates document as a proof of GR and accordingly accounting documents also gets generated. Logistics involves verification. It is a part of SAP MM and closely integrated with other function modules like FI and CO. It is also associated with entities management where one can track movement and stock of reusable packaging. It completes the process of material procurement and also allows for credit memos for written deliveries or invoice reversal. We can follow transaction code MIRO, MIRO for invoice verification. There are various ways to process invoice in invoice verification like document parking, automatic settlements, invoice receipt via EDI, etc. Now, vendor payment. Every company needs to pay its vendors once material is received at plant. Often, payments are made against invoice and posted to vendor accounts. Like invoice verification, there are several ways to pay vendor like by cash or check or manual electronic transfer or file electronic transfer or letter of credit. Ideally, for viewpoint of SAP MM, P2P process will end at the stage of logistics invoice verification. I am very much thankful for watching my video and please don't forget to like and share. Thank you.